In this video, we're having a search engine smackdown where I start typing your real estate question into Google and see how Google auto completes that question and then answers whatever it gives me. Today, the question we're gonna start with is, when selling my house, Hi guys, I'm Kyle Fafi and welcome to Real Estate Real Answers, a channel dedicated to providing you with honest answers to your real estate questions. And today in our search engine smackdown, we started typing into Google when selling my house and one of the first ways that Google auto-completed that question was, what taxes do I pay? I'm not surprised that that's one of the first ways that Google auto-completed this question for two reasons. First of all, everyone pays some sort of taxes on their home. And secondly, because most questions that sellers have about selling their home have to do with money. For most homeowners, their property is their largest investment. And when they're selling their house, one of their biggest concerns is making sure that they walk away with as much money as possible. The first kind of tax that you could pay when selling your home is property tax. Most property tax bills are due sometime in January, but if you sell your home, say in June, then the title company is gonna collect from you the prorated amount for the time that you lived in the home. So if you own the home from January 1st to July 30th, they're gonna collect from you half of the tax bill that's gonna be due at the end of the year. And at the end of the year, the new homeowner, the buyer, is gonna be, be responsible for that full tax bill. The second type of tax that you might have to pay when selling your home is capital gains tax. Capital gains tax is the positive difference between the price you're selling your home for now and the price you purchased your home for before. Since 1997, when the Taxpayer Relief Act was passed, single people who make less than $250,000 of capital gains in the sale of their home pay no tax on that. And if you're married, that number is 500,000. So most people never have to worry about paying capital gains tax. The one caveat to that is that the home that you're selling must be your primary residence. This is general tax information, and if you have particular questions about your specific situation, I would recommend you talk to your accountant. If you have a question that you would like the real answer to, you can click on the link below or the bubble in the top right corner, and that will take you to my website where you can ask your question there and see the answer to other questions also. Anyways, I hope this search engine smackdown has been helpful to you. If it has, do me a favor and subscribe. This is Real Estate, and that is the real answer. <laughs>